Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Discretion and the Trade Tower in Neon don't exactly go hand in hand. If you haven't already heard the name Benjamin Bayou, you better get familiar. The man runs Neon and has ties to anything significant here, including Ryujin. The Trade Tower is his baby, and the Astral Lounge is the heart and soul. You do anything to scar that and make a scene, I guarantee it'll come back to haunt us. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive. It runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she's drawn to innovation and quality. She's considered it, but she's next in line to be CEO over at Quantum. If she came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are, Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. Infinity has struggled with leadership and turnover for a long time now. Lucas Drexler is probably the fifth CEO they've had in the past few years. Plus, it's hard to keep good employees when much better corporations who will pay more are out there. They've launched several, but none survive long. Nothing that would be as big as neuroamps or grab drives. That's why they've taken to just following whatever trends companies like Ryujin set. If they can't make money off ingenuity, they can certainly sell someone a cheaper version of a more expensive product they may want. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. 
We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Quantum Synergies is the top name in ship OS. Their reputation has allowed them to keep the best engineers on their payroll. We can't deny that working with them would be beneficial for us. And Arthur is our best bet in making that happen. Besides, an open collaboration gives us easier access to information we'd otherwise have to find a more clever means of discovering. We keep an extremely close eye on our competition. Thanks to operatives like you, that information is almost always at our disposal. Sounds like you're ready then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers though. Sometimes bullet-pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. If it's not on her person, it will be in the suite she has reserved. Suites are patrolled, so she'll believe it's secure. If you can't manage to get her room key or deal with the door itself, try Boone Morgan, the manager. Boone appreciates credits, if you know what I mean. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much.
another one. Someone came dressed to impress. Here on business, or just out to escape? Ah, same here. Nothing like a business trip paid in full. Especially when there's good downtime. That would be Infinity LTD. Risky. You say? By all means, enlighten me. And that is why we intend to go through with this deal. Their weakness will allow our strong leadership to mold them. It is a perfect setup. Stability is something that can be instructed. I have little concern when it comes to leading Infinity in a future partnership. I hate to think that is a common public perception. It sounds like I may have more research to do. I appreciate the compliment. I could not agree more. A surprising conversation. And one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So, it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Fusion Industries. Now there's a name with some weight to it. And all of it good, mind you. Only that they don't mind doing a little dirty work to get the job done. A corporation like that is one move away from a PR nightmare. Plus, I'm sure their legal and financial departments are up to their eyeballs and payouts. Hush money, if you know what I mean. Well, I've got to hand it to them. 
They aren't afraid to take risks, and those risks have paid off in dividends. I'm sure Lucas Drexler at Infinity would give an arm and a leg to learn Ryujin's methods. Of course, I'll be the first to say Drexler owes the majority of their profits to Ryujin as it is. Since I have your ear as one business person to another, I'm curious to know your thoughts on Infinity LTD. Is that so? Lay it on me then. You paint a lovely picture, but you're gonna need to be more detailed than that to persuade me. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. You make them sound like a ticking time bomb, which never makes for a good partner. I may have to take another look at that risk assessment. Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what. But they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. And they like to pick them clean. Definitely know your way around a lock. Meet up with my parents tomorrow. Got to look presentable. Yes. <laughs> well, if you're gonna drink or do drugs, it's good to know your limits. This Aurora stuff.
I hope you have some good news for me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural, and I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior-level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. That's exceptionally kind of you, Imogene. Don't tell me you forgot already. Our financial guru? They're brilliant with numbers. Also, if you ever want an honest opinion about anything, just ask them. They're honest to a fault, and often give their opinion on something whether you want it or not. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Let's just say we don't tolerate theft or smear campaigns against us. If you want to steal in this industry, you better not get caught. And if you want to tarnish our good name, you better be ready for repercussions. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. ARC stands for Assault, Reprogram, Corrupt. We think of it as a multi-tool of sorts. The ARC locates hard wiring and manipulates the information current being sent back and forth. Depending on the situation, it's designed to do all sorts of things, but inevitably, they all result in malfunction. Good. All you need to do is plant the arc on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. What is it? Good to see you. 
Do you need something for my bag? Don't do anything stupid out there. Need a hand? Everything? 